Hello there everyone, this is Mark 3 and welcome back to Breaker Base in Factorio. Apologies for the week's absence on this one, but it's back again, so hooray, yada yada yada, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, um, I've not been feeling the urge to play Factorio of late, and I've been wondering why. And hmm, I think the part of the reason is that uh, it feels like I'm butting my head up against the wall a bit with this game. Even if I do know what I'm doing here, I don't know what I'm doing here, if you catch my general drift. So what I've decided is this. I'm not go really going to meddle with my factory too much anymore. I think I need rocketry, don't I? What does it need? Oh, I was looking at the wrong place. Okay, I need rocketry. Max that out. Okay. I'm not going to meddle with the existing structure of the factory too much more. Because, um, as you probably noticed in all the recent videos, it's been a case of like redoing this over and over and over and over again. And I think that's probably sapping my will to keep playing. Because it's become less like a game, more like work. And honestly, that's happened a couple of times with previous bases as well, now that I think about it. It's just that I am a dumbass and a slow study, so, you know, I didn't realise. Anyway, let's go ahead and focus on more positive things and show you what I did between videos. As you can see, the station is now fully operational, with the exception of coal, which isn't running anywhere, and stone, which I've not actually made a station for. But I've cleaned out the existing station and rebuilt the tracks to allow trains to get to and fro where they want to, pretty much. The track layer and the supply train have to go out by gate crashing on the oil delivery section, but apart from that, it works pretty well. The old ore supply line over here has been co-opted for coal, and for the moment it doesn't do anything, but you know, it's there so I can easily plug it in, and I might need to fairly soon in some cases. I'm producing plastic, so I've got plenty of plastic. I'm producing all of the odds and ends that I've made down here. Something else that I added since last t video is I am actually producing, for the first time, advanced circuit boards in large quantities. I just need to get down to the factory over this way and show it to you. Oh, this is also my tank shell factory, by the way. It's making many, many shells of both kinds just for my tank. I don't remember if I showed that to you or not, but I figured I'd mention it. Anyway, here we go. My production complex for making processors. So yeah, look at look at all this blue stuff backed up and not going anywhere because I'm not using it for anything. Though I do have this massive production ca capacity now which will churn them out. So that is all well and good. The other thing I try to do between videos is... Hang on, where's that tunnel go? Oh, was I starting to... Yeah, I was starting to lay an extra iron line, it looks like, before I realised that it's not really needed. Because the shortage here is actually copper for the most part. Yeah, anyway, I was starting to lay some more extra resource lines and things with this tangle. I've realised that... Well, i realised that's why I don't really feel like digging around too much, because this is so much of a tangle. And I don't want to just try to undo it all and stuff like that. But... Something I was doing down here was trying to build a new section to deal with, you know, producing science packs into a new science research facility. But, again, this is a case of redoing what's already there, for the most part. And the question is, why should I bother? Really. Why should I bother? I mean, I've got all the stuff already, so do I need to do all this again? No, I don't really. At least I don't think I do. Let's go ahead and grab this and relay the research labs that I put, I pulled out and build some more so I've got more research flowing. Because, as I said, I've reached a decision. Rather than trying to continuously upgrade and modify my base, as I have been doing a la carte, like, oh, this system is old and temporary, let's redo it from the ground up. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, this is it. This is going to be it. That's all I'm going to do. I'll keep adding as I need to, but I'm not going to rework the systems anymore. Instead, I am going to push straight for the end game. 
for the goal of this base, and that is to escape this godforsaken planet. And just fly off into orbit or something. So yeah. My goal is... Get tech done. Get research done. Get, get it all done. And then off we go. Let me see now. Um... I was thinking of grabbing all that, but there's not much point. Because it's all outdated tech anyway. So, with that in mind, because I need technology right now, I think... Uh, should I bother? What am I short on, tech-wise? Mostly purples, actually, as it turns out. And I'm going to need a lot of purples, so I need to actually have a plant to make purples. Hmm. What an odd thought. Because these two aren't making purples anything like as fast as I can use them. Neither will all these blues. Though the simulation speed might be partly to blame for that. Yeah, this, the, the game seems to be running a bit slow right now. Maybe that's the limit of my computer, I don't know. Because I know it's not my power plants for once. I've got massive power plants, that's fine. I think it really is just the limit of the uh, production speed. I kind of goofed here because I didn't... I didn't build these things so I could expand them. And that's what I've been doing with most of my other things. So I guess that's another little hint for people. If you're going to start doing slices to allow easy expansion, do it from the start. Because sooner or later you're going to wind up regretting that you didn't. These guys are short of blues now. Blues, 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 blues. Okay, why are the blues not coming out? Short of metal. Metal. Wait, what? Where did that? Where's that come from? There's an empty supply chain down here. What is it you're missing? Batteries. Oh, did I ever get that? Yeah. I've, I've, mm. Duh. Okay, time to put one of those brand spanking new production facilities that I built and never actually used to use. I forgot that I demolished my battery supply. <laughs> hmm. So that's actually having a serious effect now. Okay. Also, I expanded my regular supply of regular circuits just a bit further and cut off the battery supply line. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm messing this factory up something fierce, but let's go ahead and put these batteries to use. I just need to get a, a throughput for them. And then I need to go back along the entire line to make sure the batteries are flowing exactly where I need them to go. As you do. Oh well. Could be a lot worse. Could be a hell of a lot worse. I mean, at least I've already got the production facilities already set out, so... It's just a question of laying track and connecting. And research is going pretty quick. Though, of course, the research is, despite thousands of thousands, it's going to be the easy part, isn't it? In order to get the actual rocketry sorted out, and the rockets going off into orbit, I need to do a whole load of production as well, I think. I don't know for certain, because I've not actually done this before, but it's, it's a suspicion I have, given the nature of the game. Uh, this is a good crossing point, so let's go ahead and cross here. Yep. Like that. And just duck and carry there. I'm in the right general vicinity. Yes, I'm actually a long way north of where I'm supposed to be. Okay. That's fine. I can get the uh, trail straight down here. And this is part of what I meant by the tangle. Some people might say it's a bit boring to use uh, centralised bus lines for everything, but uh, it sure as hell cuts down on a lot of the uh, hassle that can be involved in this game if you have your, your bus line sorted out. Uh, let's get a splitter there and plug that in and rotate that. Okay, so that's my main battery supply plugged in to my research pack production to get that fully operational again. I'm still not entirely sure if I've actually got the ratios on this area balanced or not. 
I suspect not, but it's working after a fashion, so I can't say for sure. It's kind of irritating, but, you know, I've made my bed, I've got to lie in it, that kind of thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and start relaying this stuff, because I need to make sure that batteries are going everywhere that I need them to go. I just need to get dig around in the tangle and try and make sure that everything is flowing the, the correct direction. I think there's some stuff... Yeah, there's another battery supply flow going that way. I'm not sure where else might be needed. That's part of the problem. I think there's some production lines and things that draw straight off the battery supply line so that's part of the reason why I need to make sure that everything is actually okay like this one here I don't remember where this one goes I think it goes maybe it's um oh that one goes to the electric engine production I think but because my factory is such a mess I don't actually know where half of this stuff goes anymore <laughs> it confuses me I built my own monolithic creation and it confuses the hell out of me and i am perfectly willing to admit it uh, hang on i need to double check this line up here oh those laser turrets they've been there a long time okay right don't actually need that this section is a-okay it doesn't need any batteries up here and i don't need those turrets so i can get rid of them and down we go okay Whew, fine Okay. That should be fine. Something got blown up. Uh, laser turrets. Yeah, I don't care because I've got so many of them. Harsh but true. Where was that though, out of curiosity? Oh, it's the unprotected bit. Okay. Maybe I should actually go over there and see. I mean, I can't make anything by myself right now. I've got... Uh, my production queue is tied up, and it has been since before we started. If you guys noticed that. You probably did, but... Um, yeah, it's tied up because I have been working on the components for... the Well, the last type of power armour. So that's what's going on there. I'm working towards getting the power armor, so that requires a lot of speed modules. I never bother to automate speed module production, so that's another thing I didn't do in this base. And it looks like I'm not going to bother to do it either. Because now my goal is get this base done, get rockets launched, and escape to Mars or some other random place. Yeah, I think more laser turrets are needed over here. Am I carrying any? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Right, I can just put these down to lay down a wall of fire. Keep this area a bit safer. As you can see, I've also cleaned up around here as well and got all this section straightened out. That goes to the power plant down there. And this is the main line which has not actually been used yet. So, yes. There we go. And honestly, since I'm not going to be retooling too much, I'm at a slight loss as to what to do, because it's a waiting game to get the tech up. Uh, 300 each, sure. That shouldn't be a problem for my research facilities. Then I'll go straight for 1,000. Actually, yeah, there's something I should do. Uh, let's check the rocketry sets. Low density structure... Rocket fuel, rocket contain, speed modules. Oh, no. Yeah, this is something I can do. This is something I can do. I can... Satellite should be put into the rocket. What? Control unit, rocket parts, low density structure. And then the actual satellite requires hundreds of each. So, hmm. Yeah, that's something I can start doing. I can start trying to get production sorted out, ready for as soon as I've got the tech. I can start to produce these parts. Of course, this means I need to work on a lot of 
Yep, I almost thought I was going to get run over there. I need to work on a lot of parts and things. And actually get a new factory section laid out for it. So, yeah. What are you short on? You're short on gears and steel plates. Sure. Let's get you supplied up so I can get some fresh parts. I mean, I've got tons of bits and pieces, so... Let's get rid of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of that coal which I picked up. And I actually need those artifacts. I almost got rid of them. Is there anything else I don't need? Yeah, I don't need the parts down here. Don't need those. Just let the bots fly around and do their stuff. I don't need the railways on me. I don't need the... Actually, I better keep the train because I'll just lose them otherwise. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that looks okay. Okay, right. Now then. Okay, I just got all this sorted. And I want started to build some roboports because I'm going to head out into this northern section of the factory here that I have not touched at all apart from getting thoroughly messed around with railways. And my idea is this. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to use all of this empty prime real estate to start laying out... Oh, it looks like this power plant's actually suffering a bit of a, sh a fuel shortage. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should deal with that. It's holding up okay. The power reserves are holding okay, so I'll leave that be for the moment. Though that's why I've got that coal connection set in place ready to come over, because, um, you know, need it in a few places. Anyway, let's get moving. Now, up here, I shall create a factory, the likes of which have never been seen. AKA, I'm probably going to make a huge mess, which won't work at all. Okay, let's check. To produce um, low density structure, all it needs is plastic, copper, and steel. And um, that's a 30 second timer, so that is fine. Okay. 30 second timer. And that means it's got two input lanes. Two, one, two, like that. It's going to be like that. It's going to have reds, like that. It's going to have yellows, like that. Blues, like that. Uh, let's plug in my... Actually, no, let's not plug in my bots, because I, I don't want them to do that. So, yep, just get the rest of the slice up. So, it's, of course, it's like that. And then the outputs will be on this side and the other side as well. So, this is where all the bits will come out. Yep. And, of course, it's going to be like that. And then I can use this slice here if I rig it up with power like that so okay this is going to be for the low density structures producing them at a fair rate grab all of that and then I need to lay it out for 30 so that's just like this 2 4 6 8 10 that's 20 Actually, is 20 going to be enough? I mean, uh, how fast do I want the crafting rate on these things? Hmm. 28, 32. Okay, that'll, that can produce one every second. If properly supplied. Though um, we'll need the row report, of course, to actually get the supplies out here and to do stuff like that. Let's actually request row reports. Make sure that they're brought to me. I need to make sure. Okay, there we go. And plug that in. There we go. Okay. That will be for making that. Right, next item. Next item is rocket fuel, which is just flat out solid fuel loaded into that. Okay, I've got solid fuel supply line coming through here. So again, this will be quite easy. In fact, it's a flat 
just conversion line, nothing else required. No. Uh, like this. This will make all the fuel. Load, unload, input track, output track. Actually, I better hook this up to start stockpiling solid fuel ready. So let's see, I need some supply chests. Let's grab five of those. Oh wait, I can't. I can't. Duh. Bots, bring me supply chests. I demand it. And the, the, the point of this is that, well, because I, I do have solid fuel production going on, but it's actually a very limited amount. I should try to not overtax it. And I should start stockpiling immediately, since it already goes into all of this stuff over here. Where am I logistics bots? They're not bringing me my conveyors. They should be. Mm. Lazy slackers. I mean, lazy slackers. Okay. Having to come down here and find my own supplies. Shocking. Oh, here they come. Right. I should probably increase the number of those I actually get. Okay. I've got supply of bots. Oops, I almost walked into a train. Okay. Right, I can extend this out and get these places starting to be built. That is excellent. As you can see, there's a huge hole in coverage along here, so, you know. It's not ideal. It's because I'm not using that area for anything. Anyway, I've got the steel chest I was after, so I can plug all that straight into here. And then, of course, get rid of the steel chest I no longer need, so off they go. And this will be where the fuel comes in, like so. And it'll come straight off the supply line, which feeds the engines and things. So, yeah. That'll, that'll do just fine. There we go. Okay. A stash of fuel supply is going to be start laid on. Ready for this place to start production. Of course, I should add, add a light as well. Just because. Now this place does 30, so 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, sure, okay, 20 is fine, and that will just be converting all of that stuff into fuel. Now I just need to make sure that I can get another supply line out here. So yeah, put that there. And connect it. So okay, okay that'll start building all of this stuff. Right, that, that's two parts sorted out already pretty much. Well, two things. I'll be able to build them, build them at a fair rate as soon as I get it all plugged in. But anyway, next part, next part. The next part of this project is going to require control units. Okay, control units is actually going to be the complex one because it's processing unit. I've already got that being built, but it's speed modules that I am not making. So that's another factory section to be built. Then there's rocket parts and then the rocket parts I'm not entirely sure where... Um, mm. The satellite doesn't need the rocket parts, but... Hang on. So, where is this... I'm guessing I'm just going to have to load this thing up with the, the parts, aren't I? Because the rocket part requires the density, those, it requires the control units, and it requires the fuel. Then the satellite itself requires a lot of solar tech. 
and radars and bits and pieces so not entirely sure how much I need what and where but anyway moving on looking at that the next thing I need to do is actually get um, well it has to be the rocket control unit doesn't it and that means I need to get a, a factory up for speed modules my speed modules down here somewhere or I could just look in here, couldn't I? Oh, thank you. Okay, start research on the big one. A thousand of each tech. That's going to take you a while. But it's getting underway. Speed modules is just... Oh. Just advanced and basic electronic circuits. Okay, I've got, I've got plentiful supplies of both. Yeah, th this shouldn't be too hard. Also, I'm trying to make sure that things are spread out so I can actually get them properly supplied and stuff like that. So. Actually, I don't need to worry about that. Because it's going to be the same layout as this. So, I can just grab this and lay it down again. Since the factories aren't configured, that's going to have to be done when the tech unlocks. Wait, no. The, the, the factories... In this case, I can configure the factories. Hmm. Yeah, I can configure the factories, so I have to be aware of that. Let's put a one down here. Hook it up. And since the bots will take a while, I'm just going to lay these out now and tell them you're going to make speed modules. Because I want to get the factories actually properly configured before I start to muck around with them. Oh, here come the bots. Hello, bots. Come on, come on. Mush, mush. I don't have all day, you know. Anyway, they have a build time of six, uh, 15, so a whole bunch of these will just produce it at a rate of 16, so that's going to be fine. I just have to get the parts into place before I go, so... Oh, oh, I can grab off the blueprints. Okay, never mind, I didn't have to do that. Fine. Two, three... Four. That's 16 right there. And that will produce one speed module every second. Actually, I didn't have to do that at all, did I? <sighs> never mind, never mind. Because it only requires a single input, so... I told you that was going to be a mistake somewhere, didn't I? I did. I called it. I totally called it. I said there was going to be mistakes. There has been a mistake. <laughs> Though fortunately, unlike previous videos, it's actually a relatively mild one. And was, there we go, it's fixed again already. So, you know, that was that was my mistake. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's going to produce the speed modules. Okay, so next up, it just requires a bank of 30... A bank of 30 factories to use speed modules plus processors to create those. So, yep, this will be easy enough as well. I should probably just do it like this. Or I could try getting them exactly where I want them. I always seem to do that. Anyway, one input line, one output line, of course. So, I need to make sure to get these things lined up properly. That's fine and dandy. Put that there, yep. And then I'll light it up like that, yep. Actually, it'd be easier if I didn't do this until the tech unlocked, but, you know, whatever. I can just delete and relay the factories later, so... 8, 16, 24, 32, 36. Wait, didn't, I didn't even need that, did I? 30, 32, right. There we go. That's a bank of 30. That will be able to produce the rocket control units at a high speed. Right. That leaves the rocket parts, which are going to be 
a thing. Shut up timer. Yes, I was watching my countdown. Thank you. Um, okay, these... Actually, these things look kind of nasty. And for an entirely different reason. The rocket part is going to be really, really simple to do. It's just going to be slap down three factories and make sure you've got enough stuff going into it. So that's fine. The satellite control, however, sorry, the satellite itself, however, is going to be a nightmare to supply all of the parts because it requires hundreds and hundreds of parts. So that is actually going to take a lot of doing. Stack inserters are definitely a must. So yeah, there was a lot to be done there. Hmm. And that, looking at it also tells me I should get this part sorted out as well. So, so that I've actually got full-fledged rocket production going on. Rocket fuel. Oh well, okay. I've laid the groundwork, so that's all good. And it's all getting set up, ready for when this tech unlocks, which is going to probably be sometime during the break, and then I'll have to configure all of the factories and things. So, yeah, stuff like that. But I've, I made a big step forward again. I've been starting to push my tech, and there we go. Okay. Yep, that, that'll all do it. Perfect. Put that there. And this is the bulk of the factory complex which will go into making the rockets. Now that said, there is some other stuff it needs, isn't there? There is, um, if I look at the actual satellites themselves, they need accumulators and solar panels in large quantities. I'm already making the processors. I've got, I'm not making the radars in large amounts, but it doesn't require that much. Though actually it does require more than I'm making them, so yeah. I need better production facilities for solar panels and accumulators and a better production facility for radar. So that's three more factories I need to get operational in this area to help supply things. Though the sheer quantities involved, it's going to slow the production down to a crawl anyway. But my base is definitely in a position to support this kind of activity, even without being completely overhauled. And I'm still making all this stuff to go into my armor so yeah if you're going to make advanced armor automate the stuff because it'll tie up your production queue no end i've only made two of these things i, I need a lot more than that <laughs> yeah advanced modules automate those things definitely but anyway this has been iron mark 3 thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the show and i didn't bore you guys too much with with my ramblings and ravings and all that and I'll catch you some other time. Yeah. I'll see you all later.